got a phone call from my father in the morning and he said to me, you know, Jasmine's gone. He said, what are you doing? I said, I come to Brad Bay. So he said, yeah, I've got him on the car, me and the wife. And we drove to Brad Bay. And I want to tell you that within the first three minutes of stopping in Brad Bay, I already had a fly in my head. I had a face on it. My telephone number was on the side. And people were so loving. And man, there were people just organizing, like, go check the dam, go check the beds, go do this, go. I remember coming into the room and there was no, with this candle, I was about that far away from the bed and I bent down because I realized they've already done these two rooms. It can only be Saul's room left. And then the next thing is big angry you know, on the chest. This guy says to me, well, yeah, he ain't from the, the VCA. He said, actually, no, what? I said, he ain't from the VCA. I said, he ain't from the VCA. Okay, I've got a call to say, good night to them. Now tell me again because I want to get to this bed. He says to me, I said, I never mind, let me just, I don't know, and he took my head and I looked at his face the third time. And he said to me, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, as I looked at his face, I could see this policeman had seen something horrific. Where I'm at, I choose to forgive this man. He said, this is eternity <clears throat> and all I've promised you today for life on earth is past but here it starts to be I promise no tomorrow but today will always last and since each day the same way there's no longing for the past so when tomorrow starts without me don't think we're far apart for every time you think of me I'm right here in all of your hearts <clears throat> 